Hey guys, I am Nishan and welcome to Cybernetico. So in this video, let's learn about how to create a search filter in React. So first of all, we need some data. So let's go over to this website called jsonplaceholder.com. We'll get some APIs from here that will fetch us some data like this to do or this posts, comment and all. So let's make the API call in the use effect or let's create a const method const let's say mm -mm -mm, get data and all of these then the switch API now let's import the effect use effect hook from react react like this fine but let's replace this to do with uh, let's say uh, uh, no post let's say users so make users here and remove one fine so we can see all the users if we call it in user effect hook and set the states and do all this so also we need the state so let's create it using use state hook so users set users equals to users for use effect and array now let's set it here instead of console.log then we have to call the function in the user effect hook so render it here then call the function simply like this get data save now time to map this users to return the data inside so we can say users dot map let's say user Then we can return some JSX that can be a div or a fragment first. In the fragment, let's make h2 of uh, user not name. You will get all the user name here. So if you open the users, we have more things like username as well. So let's render this as well. We can make an p tag and then we can say user dot username what is it username save we have the username here this all let's make wait a second let me wrap this in a div this users mapping then give it a class name of class grid main we will make a we will make a card here in the app.css fine so we can say grid main in this function sorry in this class name we can say display of grid and all of these fine we will have this type of template so we don't need the margin top also let's try wait username username what is happening remove template rows refresh the page one second i think this should be let's make it auto 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 to auto adjust them but wait something is wrong here is we have to make it a div here let's try now now it's working we have the name and the username after the name so let's make one border also but we have to do it here in this div so we can say div class name grid child come to the app.css and say grid child here we can say border one pixel solid mm -mm -mm. two one two one two one and we have a border here let's add a little bit padding 10 pixels not here here now they are fine let me decrease the color it's black let's make it a little bit gray mm. 
grayer like this will be fine we can go more okay 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 this one should be fine all right we have the name and the username fine now what we have to do is what we have to do so we can see all the users but let's create a search input first so we can say input placeholder should be search users we will have the input of search users here give this a class name as well of search now let's come to abroad css and search then here we will be making these things also remove this border we don't need that okay it's too big so we can make the height of 20 pixels should be fine width to 80 percent too much 50 let's try 40 okay 40 looks fine then let's say margin top margin top uh, margin top we need 20 fine also let's remove the outline of this to none make it none we have this also change the border to this color what is it this now we have this search we are even going to type our query now let's get the query in a state so we need one state as well so const mm, search query and set search equals to you state it will be an empty string at empty string initially because we don't need to search initially so it's empty then we can change on change yes so on change event let's type it here on change event it will take then we will use set search function to set the query inside set the query inside set search event dot target dot value save whatever it type in this input will be stored inside the search query now comes the logic way to search let's create a user effect hook here simply like this it will run when our state of search query changes like this now let's try to do this uh, what can we do we will use filter on the users array filter function filter it will return a user to us then it will return us whatever condition we write i mean it will return us only the data according to the condition we write here not everything else so it will filter them so we can say users first let's convert this object into an array because we will use a function called includes that only works on arrays not objects so object dot user sorry object dot values first convert it into an array like this then join them and it means to make all the items in the array to be a string using this join fine then we will convert all of the strings that we have like this Lee and Graham Erwin Howell into lowercase using two lowercase method so that we are having all the items in lowercase then again we need to use uh, include our last method here so we will find that if this search query is included inside this whole string or array string of arrays it will return it but what if we type something in lowercase sorry not lowercase in uppercase like this in this case we have to use to lowercase here as well to convert it into lowercase like this to so make it to lowercase and the logic is written now what we have to do is we have to create a state to set this data so we can say const 
let's say searched s e a r c h searched and set searched equal to use date this then we will set it here like this all the data or i mean all the filtered data will be stored inside the state called searched let's also create one more check so if this query exists so what if it is empty so if it contains something we will set it all here so cut and paste else we will do this we will set users to this users just like that fine now what can we do so we are showing right now what we are showing right now is the original array so let me comment this out first so if this not searched let's try this search query if the search query dot length is more than zero we will return the searched array so we can say this let's do this so searched what is it we can say search dot map let's say search then we will return some jsx which will be just nothing but this so instead of this user we will use search and so it's the first one let's do it in second one just return this users dot map or simply cut it save and now if we check let's try to search something try to search l e a n n e we will see the first one if we cancel the search or clear the search it will go back to the original array let's try to search erwin hobel erv so it's showing up here and we are done so that's how we create a search filter in react using filter function now let's try to add one bonus feature here which is not just any search debounced search for example let's say we type something here it's searching one by one so it searches for l first then if you type e it will search for le which can be inefficient so now let's try to implement debound search for example if we type le it will not search initially or just when we search it will search after one second or two seconds or depending on the countdown we write so in this if we can do this let's create a function called search equals to this so in this this we will use a function called set timeout so it will create a timeout for us and based on the timeout this function will run so the timeout is 1000 milliseconds which is one second so after the one second of typing here we will get our result not immediately now we have to return this and clean up do do clean up so return wait return this so we can say clear timeout and put the function inside which is searched now let's try to demo this search for l e a and after one second it will be here so refresh the page let's try once more l e a so you see after one second it's coming here clear it out type l e after one second the data will be here so that's how we do debound search in react make it 500 which will be 0 0.5 seconds or half seconds refresh it type le after 0 0.5 seconds this data will be here the filter data after searching type lea it will be here after 0 0.5 seconds so that's how we implement debound search in react